When your HR payroll and benefits systems and processes are buttoned up and organized, you will run better restaurants. So on today's show, I simply want to share what I strongly recommend you audit and complete or minimally come up with a plan to complete so you can head into the new year with tons of success. To simplify all of this important information, I'm going to share my recommendations in three different categories, HR, payroll, and benefits. And if you have any questions regarding this information or you would like our help and support in implementing or executing any of this, please reach out to us anytime. So let's jump right in with HR. Number one is a starting point. Be sure you have a well done employee handbook and add any new policies or procedures you have communicated or that you want to implement. Employee handbooks are often created one time and are filled with outdated information. So you really want to make sure that you refresh and update this regularly. Number two, review and update job descriptions for every position in your company. It is really important that you make sure the job descriptions match the actual job duties that are being performed. Number three, get prepared for your 2023 minimum wage increases. And we're going to be sharing these minimum wage increases on a future show. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss this. Number four, ensure all employee health, safety, and sanitation certifications are up to date. Number five, review form I-9 compliance and E-Verify regulations. Number six, conduct an employee file audit. Number seven, evaluate criminal background check and reference checks processes to ensure non-discriminatory practices are in place. Number eight, verify correct labor law posters are properly posted in each of your restaurants and in your office. Number nine, review and update employee applications and your interview screen forms for compliance with ban the box and salary history ban and to make sure you're asking the appropriate interview questions. Number 10, review your rest, break, and meal period, regulations and policies. Number 11, review your child labor law requirements. Number 12, audit paid sick leave and leave of absences policies. Number 13, review compliance with predictive scheduling and your fair work week regulations. Number 14, review your plan to train your managers on handling performance and employee relations and termination matters. Number 15, review and update your termination checklist and remind supervisors of your termination practices. Number 16, review review annual harassment training requirements for your city and state and make sure proper training is completed. Number 17, review and revise your onboarding and management training program. Number 18, review and confirm robbery prevention training plan is in place for next year. Number 19, review your diversity, equity, and inclusion policies and practices. And for payroll number 20, remind your employees to check their personal information, their address listing, their tax withholding, information, their social security number, et cetera. So their W-2 and reporting and mailing is, per, is correct. Number 21, determine when holiday bonuses will be paid if applicable and determine what payroll cycle the bonuses will be issued. Number 22, confirm the new year payroll schedule is updated properly. Number 23, review and update new hire paperwork for the newest version of the I-9 and the W-4 and the employee handbook and, and all of that good stuff. Number 24, ensure your payroll platform is set up properly to update minimum wage increase changes. Number 25, audit employee classifications, exempt versus non-exempt, contractor versus employee to ensure proper classifications are applied. Number 26, check and make sure earning and deduction code taxation are set up properly. Number 27, review and audit employee garnishments to ensure compliance with the garnishment order. Number 28, review employee EEO1 data and begin preparing filing requirements. And and lastly, benefits. Number 29, remind employees about their remaining vacation days to ensure proper accrued paid time off and or paid sick leave rollover amounts are applied correctly. Number 30, audit year-end unemployment benefit and rating statements for accuracy. Number 31, review COBRA administration to ensure you have a proper system in place to maintain compliance. Number 32, begin preparing for ACA compliance reporting to meet the Q1 IRS deadlines. Number 33, begin preparing for annual 401k testing requirements. Number 34, prepare for workers' compensation renewal and ensure first injury report forms are updated for the current policy period. Number 35, prepare for health insurance renewal, open enrollment and updated benefit guides, employee plan notices and offer letters accordingly.